So we're going to go ahead and get started. We've got a lot to get through, a lot of exciting stuff. My name is Kayla Brennan. I'm the Ed and, Re Ed and Development Coordinator at the NACA office. And I'm going to hand it over to Chrissy in a minute to get us started about all things you can learn about for the upcoming national convention. But first, just so you know, in case you're new to our webinars, there are a couple of different ways you can interact. Uh, most of you already seen, we have the chat function, so that's just free to use. Um, and then we also have the Q&A function, so you'll notice that. If you have any questions, you can put those in there. We'll try and get to as many as possible. The Q&A also allows you to put your question in anonymously if you choose. So that's about it. I'm gonna hand it over to Chrissy. Hi everyone. Um, I need to apologize in advance. I am always blurry whenever I use my webcam. Um, so sorry about that, but here I am. Um, so I just want to introduce myself quickly. I am Chrissy Fabisak. I'm the Assistant Director of Student Life at the Community College of Baltimore County, um, uh, right outside of where we're going to be holding our national convention. And I am this year's chair for, oh, I'm getting really blurry now. Wow. Okay, so eventually I'll come back into, oh, there we are. Um, I, I'm able to chair this year's national convention. Um, I'd like to tell a little bit about my story, um, just so, you know, those that are on here, if you are volunteering or you want to think about volunteering for the future, um, I started out um, in the region, in the mid-Atlantic region, um, doing a position that doesn't even exist now, um, and just wanted to kind of get my feet wet to see what was going on, and um, kind of worked my way through the region and trying all different things, um, including the ed session area, including the associate side, um, up to chairing and chairing the region for two years um, and then moving on to the national level. And I will tell you all this has been like my goal for a really long time. It's been my dream was to chair when it was in Baltimore. So I am so very excited that my dreams are coming true so so thank you all for joining me thank you all for being here thank you all for having interest and excitement about the national convention um, so I actually have a PowerPoint that I'm going to go ahead and share with you all which you'll be able to actually you know see clearly versus me um, so and I'll keep the the chat up so if you all have any questions or any comments as we're going through like Kayla said please put them in the chat chat or put them in the Q&A so I can address them um, as we go through this okay so let me share my screen with you all um, and my presentation okay so I'm hoping that you can all see that um, so as we all know, um, the convention is coming up and it is next, uh, starting next Saturday. And our theme is to be more. So really what we want you all to think of as you're attending is what can you be more of by attending the NACA National Convention? Um, and we're hoping you can be more of many different things. And what can your students be more of that you're bringing with you? So let's just go a little bit. Like I said, it starts on the 18th and runs through the 21st of February. We have a great team um, that's on the committee. So a lot of the things I've linked to are actually on the NACA website. Um, but I think it's important for you all to know that we have an amazing group of folks who have been together now for a good while um, and working for you all. So if ever you need to get in contact with anyone or if there's um, any information that I share during this presentation you would like more information on please go to this page so if you can get here you go to naca.org if you go to programs and events you'll see national convention and then you're going to see a bunch of links on the side that i'll be referring to throughout the webinar so as you can see we have a lot of folks here who have been working really hard um, to bring this convention to you um, so contact us ask us any questions that you have um, to make sure that we can help you through so hopefully you all by now, I hope, have all of your accommodations and all the, um, your, your flights or if you're driving or, you know, your hotel accommodations. But what I just want to point out again, here's all those links I was talking about, is that the Hilton Baltimore is the headquarters um, for our convention. So you're going to see throughout the schedule that there are going to be things that will be held mostly in the convention center. Then there's also things that will be held um, at the Hilton. So just want everyone to be familiar. Um, um, with that, but then there's also other options here of other hotels that you can stay at. So I hope that you know you all are ready. Excuse me. Excuse my email. Uh, ready to go um, with that. So we're we're excited. 
Um, dining, just some, again, just some quick things for you all to, to know before I jump into the nitty gritty of the convention. Um, there's two different um, documents that are on the NACA website. One is about the Show Your Badge program that Baltimore has, and there's some other options that are closest to the Hilton. So again, um, if you go onto NACA and you click on the Show Your Badge, what's really cool about this is that if you have your convention badge on and you show it, um, all of these different restaurants, and it goes for a few pages, I know I'm scrolling quickly, but you all can check these out, um, will give you some type of discount when you get there. There's also also attractions that will give you discounts um, if you show your badge so like you can see here um, at the Baltimore National Heritage Area Trails and Tours if you go to that one you get one um, buy one get one admission for a thousand points so that's pretty cool so take a look at these so that you know oh retail too look at me I'm learning as I'm going through um, there's also some transportation things that are listed here. So, so take a look at those and get familiar um, with what is close, what you all can do. So remember that throughout the convention, there are many times that you and your delegation will have to find some place to eat. Um, and you want to make sure that you all are prepared for that. Um, and this is a great way to be able to do that, knowing that you have all of these um, options when you show your badge. Um, the other one that, that's on the website, I know I'm clicking quickly here, um, are the things that kind of are closest to the Hilton, so which are going to be closest to the convention center. So I like this one because it kind of tells you, like, this is within a block, this is within a mile, this is within two miles. Um, so you can go ahead and, and take a look, and maybe some of these will also be on that other sheet so you know you can get a discount um, when, you, when you go to those. Okay. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the convention center. So here are some maps um, about the convention center. So hopefully you all can see my, my pointer over here. So I'm going to start on the left hand side of the screen. Um, kind of just pointing out some of the key things that are here. Um, okay, I totally lied. I'm gonna start on the right side of the screen at the bottom. Um, so right here where I am circling, that's where the Hilton is. You'll see right above it, Marriott, um, and then over here is the Sheraton. So they're all very close because the convention center is right here in the middle where that green area is. Where we will be is on the far side of the convention center, all the way over here. So if you're coming in from the Hilton, you'll have to walk through the convention center and go all the way to the other side to find us. So as you do that, now I'll go back to the left. Um, you're gonna see where things will be held throughout. So this is Pratt Street that runs right here. Um, you're gonna enter in, this is the main lobby. This is where the check-in will be. This is where the volunteer booth will be. Um, and that actually leads right into camp directly behind it. Um, it also will lead um, to the lecture showcase area. Um, if you go up one level um, to the I lied, 300 level. Um, these are where all of our ed sessions will be. This is where the block booking room will be. Um, and if you go up to 400 level, that's the ballroom and where all the showcases will be. So um, we're very much condensed into, you know, just right up from 100 to 200 to 300 to 400. The 200 level we're actually not using, so I apologize if I got confusing. Um, but the 300 level will be all the educational sessions, block booking, 400 will go into the showcase rooms. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the educational sessions. Um, so the um, we have two pre-conference educational sessions that are going to be happening on Saturday, February 18th. So a lot of the things that we like to stress is you know, we understand travel. We understand some people are going to get in super early on February 18th, and then some people might get in a little bit later. But from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., we have a student-focused session, and we also have a professional-focused session. Um, so I really encourage people to take a look at those and attend those. Um, if you're already on site, take advantage of some of the things that are already happening. Um, during the entire conference itself, we have over 80 different educational sessions um, that will be offered. And again, if you click onto the NACA website, onto all of those links, you can actually take a look at all of the ed sessions that are happening. What I absolutely love about this is that you can filter. 
I think this is a wonderful feature that NECA has given us. So you can filter by the audience, by the level of learning, or by the date of what you're looking for. So again, great way to plan ahead um, to kind of see what's going on. That conference book can be a little cumbersome when you first uh, get it. So this is a nice way to for you to be able to look through it. And also, if you're bringing students, have them take a look and see what are those ed sessions that most appeal to them. Um, because as we all know, we don't want all of our students going to the same ed session. Um, um, we want them to be able to divide and conquer and get the most out of this experience. Uh, so getting them to look at this would be great. Another feature down here is you can view more details. So as you are going through here, you can read more about it, see the presenters, um, and then you can actually see the room that it's going to go in. So they can start, you can start, and your students can start planning accordingly. The next thing I want to point out are these tracks that we have. We have three tracks this year that we are offering for folks to join. Um, so we have the professional and graduate school track. We have the community college professionals track and we have a student leadership track. Again, with all of these, if you click on them, you're going to see who the mentor is, um, what the learning outcomes are, what we're requiring of folks who want to be within this track, and then what are also some suggestions in regards to being able to enhance more within this track. Um, so this is a great way too, if you are thinking about how can I get a little bit more out of my experience while I'm here. Um, we have it for, for every gamut of folks who are going to be at the, the National Convention. Um, the other thing I want to point out is Pachaka Cha. Um, so I don't know if everyone has heard of Pachaka Cha, um, but we are having one Pachaka Cha for professionals and our graduate students and one Pachaka Cha this year for students. That's new. Uh, last year we just offered one for professionals. So I put um, the definition of what Pachaka Cha is. So it's a 20 by 20. Um, so it's a sample, simple presentation format where you are given 20 images for 20 seconds. Um, so the images advance automatically and the people who are presenting will talk right along with those images. So these are, think of it as short little mini educational sessions, um, but you're able to get so many topics in in a shorter span of time. So we did one last year and I'll say I attended it and absolutely loved it and loved every minute of it. So um, we're really hoping to uh, build upon that and we're hoping to see you all at that this year. Um, we do offer professional development educational sessions too. Um, so there are three of those blocks throughout the convention for our professionals. So please go ahead and make sure you're, you're taking a look at those opportunities. And, and look, I jumped ahead. I've already talked about the educational session tracks here. Um, but I listed them there. We are doing a registration in advance. Um, it is through a WUFU form. Um, and um, I can put this in the comments or maybe Kayla if you can copy this and put this in the, the chat so everyone has it so if anyone wants to sign up um, for the track in advance you have that opportunity. Featured speakers. Oh, we are so excited for all of our featured speakers, too. So we have five amazing featured speakers who are going to be with us. Um, and again, I know I keep referring back to the website, but I'm telling you, NAC has done a great job uh, with the website. So these are our featured speakers for this year who are experts in their areas, and we're really, really lucky uh, to have them. So um, if you haven't taken a look at all of our featured speakers, please do so. Um, so, and you'll also see underneath of their bios what sessions that they're going to be presenting for us too. Um, so, Dr. Jennifer, um, she is going to be presenting How Hip Are You? An Assessment to the Key to the First Year um, Campus Activities as a High Impact Practice. This will actually be presented at the Professional Development Luncheon. Um, so, I'm not sure if you all uh, saw this when you were registering, but there was couple different options when you registered for the convention for professionals that if you clicked um, the one link I know it included the professional development um, session in there so um, hopefully you all are taking advantage of that because that's a really amazing awesome opportunity to hear from someone in the field um, and also have a really yummy lunch um, so then as you can see we have some other folks who are, are joining us who I think a lot of us know and respect uh, in this field
So um, there is one who is not here on here right now. Um, and I need to get his bio at my fingertips or I need to ask Kayla to jump back on um, as it's not at my fingertips right this second, but it is our diversity breakfast speaker. Um, and he will be spending some time with us and I'm going to find his name for you all. But Kayla is coming back and she's going to find that name for you all. <laughs> so our diversity speaker this year is Taran Mullins and he's at Maryville University in St. Lewis. So he's doing some really great stuff there um, with their diversity inclusion programs. And he'll be talking, he has a session during on Monday during that professional ed block. And then I'll also be speaking at the diversity breakfast Tuesday morning on active inclusion. Amazing. Amazing. Um, and as I, I thank you, Kayla. Um, and as I said to you all, um, the professional development luncheon is on Sunday from 11:30 to 12:45, and you must register in advance. Um, sometimes we have the opportunity to add people on site, but um, it's not always a guarantee. So I really encourage you all to to do that in advance. Um, let's talk a little about graduate students. So if you are a graduate student or if you're bringing graduate students with you, um, we will be having two panels for graduate students um, this, this year. Um, so the first one's going to be on Monday, February 20th at 1. This is during lunch on your own. So what we're doing is encouraging people um, to go and grab lunch and come back and meet us at 1 o'clock. And the focus of this one's going to be the different institutional types that professionals work at and the different experiences that professionals have at these different types of institutions. And then on Tuesday, February 21st at 12.45, this is during the um, box lunch session, um, we will be giving, the focus on this will be tips and advice on job searching. Uh, so encourage your graduate students to attend, or if you are a graduate student, please attend, you know, find a friend, bring them with you. Um, if you are a professional who would like to serve on these panels, we are still looking to fill these panels with some professionals. So please reach out um, to me and I will put you in contact with the, the person who can make that happen. Okay. So this is my say what? Can you believe what this stuff is actually happening? Like all these extra opportunities. So we have some extra opportunities for professionals and graduate students. So first of all, we have an advisor's lounge that's also going to be linked together with Volunteer Central. So this is going to be like the hub for people to want to be at. To so number one, take a break, uh, relax, rejuvenate, um, network. Um, and also be able to um, hear about volunteer opportunities and, and things that are going on. So this will be open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Uh, so there will be some um, programming that will occur within the Advisors Lounge. A couple of mornings we're going to have coffee and conversations. Um, and then, again, it's just a place to be able to go. This is actually right off the lobby, too, right outside of camp. Um, so very convenient location that will be there, too. It'll have some areas for charging. It'll have places that you can set up a laptop, all of those types of things. Um, the other thing I want to accent, um, accent, that's not the right word, I want to highlight is that we'll be doing professional headshots. Um, so this is a sponsorship from Ken Abrams. Um, and so these are the times that those will be happening. So get ready, you know, find, find your, your best looking outfit that you brought with you um, and get your professional headshot taken for free, which is amazing and wonderful. Um, and then we're also going to have a resume review for, um, for everyone. Everyone who's interested, so undergraduate students who are going into higher education, grad students, professional staff, anyone who wants to have their resume they looked over can, and these are the times that we will offer it in the advisor's lounge. Um, again, we are recruiting for people who would want to help us um, with looking over people's resumes and giving them some feedback and critiques. If that's something that you're interested in, again, contact me, and I would love to put you in touch with the people um, who are coordinating that. Um, and look, I put it again because it's that important to me that I really all wanted you to know that the resume review was happening. And then our last um, initiative that's like the Say What initiative is that we are also going to be highlighting um, associate members that have internship opportunities to our undergraduate students. Um, so this will be done in a couple of different ways. So if you have a student who you know is awesome and amazing and you know maybe is looking for that experience to work uh, with a large agency, middle, middle size agency, or even small agency, um, tell them to look for this handout. It should be going out to all schools 
schools when you register um, and then follow along with what it says and how to communicate with those um, associate members while you're at the convention. So Saturday, February 18th, day one. Um, I want everyone to know this is a do not miss day. Um, so there is so much that is going on this day that it is going to be talked about for the rest of the convention. Um, so if you've made your plans and you're not coming in on Saturday, yes, I am going to be the person to tell you that I think you should probably think about changing your plans. Um, so here are some of the things that are going to be happening on first day. So not only can you hear from our board of directors and board members about the state of NACA, you can attend the pre-conference, um, pre-convention educational sessions that I've already talked about. Block Booking will be holding their orientation. We will be holding regional meetings and convention orientation for everyone to be able to attend. But here, here's what it is. The convention kickoff is happening. And I am so excited about the kickoff because not only do we have some amazing acts coming for the kickoff, we are also going to put our Hall of Fame award into the kickoff this year. So I'm gonna talk more about that in a second. Um, we are also have two camps that night that you can start doing your business and, and getting ready and putting things on calendars and, and getting excited for the semester. And then we have our first main stage that will be happening that evening. So if you don't come in on Saturday, you are missing out on some major things and amazing things that will be happening. So here's why. Kickoff. All right, so let's talk a little bit about those folks that will be with us. Um, so Marina Franklin is going to be our host. Um, Marina is New York based um, and she is merging as one of the hottest members of the comedy scene today. Um, so she has been on The Last Comic Standing. She was on season two. She's been on Showtime at the Apollo, a bunch of other things. So great name, funny lady, who will be our host for the evening. We're also excited to welcome Dear World um, to the stage during the kickoff. If you all don't know about Dear World, um, they, um, they talk about if you had one story to share with the world, um, what would you say? What would your story be? Um, and what it is, it's an interactive um, portrait project. And so they'll be taking pictures and they actually will be taking pictures throughout the entire convention of everybody at the convention. Um, and we will be posting these through our social media, but also they will be posted at the beginning of every showcase. So you want to make sure that you get to every showcase a little early as we will be showing everyone's pictures um, of those who get them taken. Um, they'll be taking them Sunday, Monday, uh, a little bit on Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, and then we'll do a final collage of all the pictures on the last night. McQueen, um, he is down the bottom here, right here, if you all can see that. Um, he has taken um, his world of impressions, music, and comedy into a fresh and innovative direction. So he kind of brings everything together into one. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see him, and he, he's been a YouTube sensation. So hopefully some of our students will recognize him. And then we have Paul Zerden, who is over, over here. Um, Paul actually just won um, NBC's America's Got Talent with a performance that blew everyone away. Um, he has this hands-free puppet performing um, so ventriloquist so we're very excited about that so these four folks are going to get us kicked off and then we go into our Hall of Fame with Roy Wood Jr. Um, and we are very excited that he is being inducted into the Hall of Fame this year for NACA and he will also be on site and he will be performing for us so again do not miss Saturday February 18th um, it will be talked about over and over again if you can't tell I am so excited about it okay then on Monday, February the 20th, from 11.45 to 12.30, we have our keynote. Um, so I'm not sure how many of you have uh, seen um, our keynote in the news recently, but he has definitely been in the news, and we're really excited that he, um, he has made... I am searching through papers as I'm trying to talk and it's not working. Um, a name for himself. Um, so um, Ken Wedeke... Uh, he has produced motivational videos to spread love, inspire change, and raise awareness of social issues. He has gained hundreds of millions of views on Facebook and YouTube. 
Um, and then he, he launched this free hugs program that he had back in 2014. And it was in response to the Boston Marathon bombings that happened. Um, so since then, he has been bringing his idea to colleges and universities. And I will say he has made the news a lot recently um, for um, different protests and, and rioting that has been occurring across the United States, um, most recently just um, at the presidential inauguration. He was actually right there in between those who were protesting and the police who were protecting. Um, so if you get a chance, go on his Facebook page, look at some of his videos ahead of time, but we are very honored uh, to have him come and speak with us. Um, so this is where I want to do a little interaction with you all, but of course I have to figure out how I go and find how I see um, chats, but I will figure it out. Um, so um, etiquette. So I like to talk a little bit about etiquette when we think about um, going to the convention. So of course we always want to encourage our students and even ourselves to stay for the entire showcase. We have to remember that the folks that are up on the, sta on the stage are paying to be there because they want their time in front of the audience. And so from the first act to the very last act, we should give them the same respect um, and make sure we're there and we're, we're um, paying attention to what is going on. Um, when you go into camp, um, another thing about this is make sure that you only receive one promotional packet per delegation. Not every delegation needs to walk away with that. Again, remembering that our associate members are putting a lot of money into their promotional items, and it's only um, right for each college to take one. Um, as they are walking through the camp and they're networking. Make sure you're talking to all the associates that are in the camp too. There's gonna to be so many associates that are gonna be in there who do not have an act that is up on that stage, um, but might have an act that is perfect for your school. Um, so stop and have those conversations with them and, and say hi. Um, it'll mean a lot to them and who knows, you might find your next perfect performer for your campus. Um, and always be on time, whether it's educational sessions, whether it's a showcase, whether it's the keynote, whether, you know, whatever it's going on, make sure um, you're on time for things. So in the chat, I didn't know if you all wanted to share um, some of your other suggestions that maybe you um, put with, uh, put out to your students to say, hey, you know, make sure you do this when you go, like, in, in regards to etiquette. And I really am trying to figure out how I find the chat. Okay, um, and I don't know if this is it or not, but if it is. So we also have that question in the Q&A, so I'm just gonna pop oh, in real quick. Oh, perfect, thank you, Kayla. Let you guys know, if you hover over um, your, the screen oh, that Chrissy is sharing, you'll see at the bottom some options come up. You can get to the Q&A. Uh, there's a chat option. Chat. Can you all see that? Oh, chat, look at that, yay. Take water, pack snacks, great, great suggestions, yes. Yes, there's so many times where I remember students will be like, I'm so hungry, and we don't get to always um, go and eat at the times we want to. Great suggestions, take snacks, take water. We will have like water, the big water jugs and stuff like that that you can um, fill up water bottles. Um, oh, you all are awesome, look at all of this. Um, always carry a sweater, bring an umbrella, because you never know about the weather. I will tell you all, living in Baltimore, we have been, I should not go on what as I say this, super, super lucky in regards to weather this year. Um, so fingers are crossed. It's actually supposed to be close to 60 tomorrow here. So fingers are crossed that, you know, it carries over. Um, let's see, have your, um, give your students business cards. They don't have to take the time to write down their information. Great suggestion, Bill. Yes, I've seen students do that. I've also seen where students have created labels, um, where then they could just put a mailing label right onto um, an agency's pad so then they didn't have to write everything. So great suggestion. Um, during the first camp, I have students walk around, give handwritten thank you notes to every associate you've worked with. That's so nice, Courtney. Um, helps it finds when they walk through camp getting an idea. Also putting a face with a name a lot of times, right? Um, and don't talk about another actor or an agent and associates booth. Oh, so good with etiquette, right? And you never know who knows who or who's friends with who. Um, don't take anything from an associates booth without asking if it's okay. And step in the booth. Don't step. Don't talk in the aisle. So important because it gets so jam packed, right? In in the camp itself. So great suggestions. Thank you all. I I appreciate all of those. And if anyone has anything else, feel free to continue um, putting them in there. Um, but I'm gonna 
keep moving along uh, just so we can stay on time. Oh, or I won't move along because I don't know where my PowerPoint went. And yep, mm -hmm. and talk amongst yourselves and I'll find my PowerPoint again. Okay. Um, so block booking. Um, so I am sure everyone is familiar with block booking. And if you're not, you should be. Um, so one of my roles um, throughout my time with NACA was def was on the national block booking team. So I have passion for this. Um, so what's really awesome is block booking is the foundation of why NACA was founded. What they wanted to do is they wanted to bring schools together that we're in a close proximity to each other that might be interested in the same act or the same kind of um, entertainment that could come on campus. And if we could do that and we could get three schools that were interested, then guess what? We can save money. And let's, oh my gosh, if we can get five, we can save even more money. If we get up to seven, even more money. Um, so this to me is why NACA is here. And of course we have gone leaps and bounds beyond this, but this is really the foundation of, um, of NACA. So I put some of the information excuse me, up here in regards to this. So block booking is when three or more schools work together with an associate to book um, an act or a performer, right? So this means that the associate's gonna give a discounted rate um, because everyone's gonna save money. The act is saving money and now the schools are gonna save money. Um, so you have to have at least three schools that are geographically nearby one another, booking the same act within a short amount of time, um, and then pretty much it's within four hours of driving between all of them. But Block Booking has its own page on the NACA website. Um, so it's blockbooking.naca.org that you can learn more about Block Booking. Um, and so you're going to want to find out prior to going to the convention if your school's going to be participating in Block Booking. You're also going to want to identify the person who will be doing your Block Booking for the most part. Um, it's just, it's helpful to have that information um, as you are getting there. So if you want to learn more, click here um, and you, you can also attend the orientations um, on site and then there'll be block booking meetings throughout the entire convention so that you can continue to have those conversations with folks um, and say, hey, who's interested in what? You know, I can sit with other schools that are in the Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey area and if we're all interested in the same one, we can go ahead and do some block booking. Okay, all right. So I also want to highlight some of the diversity initiatives that will be going on throughout um, the convention. So we will have a Black History Month display um, that will be within our, our four levels <laughs> of the convention center. Um, if you look within the program itself, you're going to see that we're going to have diversity connections along with diversity and desserts. Again, some opportunities to get together, to network, to talk, um, and it, there are some, some great um, experiences um, and great feedback we get from these events every year. We also have the Stand Up NBC. So this will be happening on Sunday, February 19th from 1.15 to 2.30 p.m. These acts are also listed on the NACA website, but you will see um, the folks who will be here um, and who will be performing during that time. So make sure you take a look at, at them and make sure that you're, you're there for that event also. Um, we also will have the diversity breakfast. Um, so um, if you, you need to sign up for that in advance, so make sure that you do that. Um, again, great speaker, great opportunity for some networking. On the very last night of the convention, we have a big diversity dance party. So we want everyone to attend and be a part of that. It's a great way to end our experience together in Baltimore. And last but not least, we also have a diversity guide that has been put together um, that will be in the app. And what's really cool about this is this will list different acts um, and the different um, time frames that they're good for in regards to diversity. Um, so it's a great uh, resource to be able to have at your fingertips when you are planning your calendar with your students. So that will be in the app and we'll, we'll talk about that in a couple minutes, the app itself. 
some other things that are going on just for your information because you know we can never have enough things going on for you all is we will um, be having some film screenings throughout the convention so make sure to uh, to take a look at what films we'll be screening while we're there they're normally pretty good and pretty recent um, Spike Motion Picture will also be doing a photo shoot on Sunday February the 19th from 10 to 4 um, and uh, there's always some really fun characters there um, last year was Star Wars um, so it's always exciting to see who they bring. Um, make sure too that you understand that there are four different types of showcases throughout the National Convention. So you have your main stage showcase, your lecture showcase, your club showcase, and your special event showcase. So try to understand the difference between them. Your main stage is going to be your larger acts that will be going up, um, your lecture I don't think I have to explain that one to you. Your club showcase is pretty much your um, your acts that are a little bit um, less expensive. Um, and then the special event showcase is something that you can bring to your campus and um, and actually make it happen. So that, that'll be awesome to be able to see. Uh, a couple things about camp. Um, there will be one camp that will be a business only camp. So what that means when you see that in the schedule is that there'll be no frills going on. So what, what we like to say is you won't be able to stuff a bear. You're not going to be able to get a sign made. Um, you won't be able to walk away with kind of a make your own um, or play on any kind of fun inflatable that might be in there. Um, for half an hour, we want this just to be talks about business. So when you want to book something, how much it's going to be, you know, getting that information um, and really kind of taking away that extra for 30 minutes. So that'll be on Tuesday from 5 to 5.30. And then lastly, we will also be having a learning lab within camp. And so this is an opportunity for students to pick up um, or to stop by the lab, pick up some information that will help them um, go through camp in a different kind of way, ask them questions to be able to help them and to guide them um, when they are in camp itself. So volunteers, volunteers are the heart of the association. Um, so um, what, I hope you all will do is that every single school who is coming, every single person who is coming will offer anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour of their time to help to make this convention even better than it's going to be. So when you register and you pick up all of your registration information, um, please stop by the volunteer booth and they will have information in regards to all the different areas that we are looking for volunteers. Um, and again, if it's 30 minutes, thank you. If it's an hour, thank you. If you can give more than that, thank you, thank you. Um, we, we are definitely an association that needs our volunteers. In addition to that, I hope you will also think about volunteering on the National Convention Program Committee in the future. Um, we always need great people to step up and to help us plan. Um, next year, we will be in Boston. Um, we already have our chair. Our chair-elect is actually on this uh, webinar with us. Um, so Courtney James will be chairing for next year. And I know she is looking for some great folks who can join her to help make the convention what it needs to be and what it can be. Um, so please stop by, sign up. Um, sometimes we even have additional opportunities that just pop up randomly. So pay attention to social media when we say, hey, we need some more volunteers, help, um, and sign up for that. Um, so one of my, my favorite movies ever is The, the Lion King. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to play this in the background as I'm talking. Um, this is the scene uh, about be prepared. I'll let it play for a second, just because I love it. Redemption out of wet, as a warthog's backside. But thick as you are, pay attention. Don't treat your students like that. That'd probably be frowned upon. It's clear from your vacant expression. The likes are not all on upstairs. We are talking kings and successions. Even you can't be caught unawares. You can bear for the chance of a lifetime. Be prepared for success. I can't find my cursor. 
Okay, so I'm just going to let that keep playing in the background there. Um, but the whole idea is to be prepared. Um, so when you come to the convention, not only do you want to be prepared as the professional who's coming or the graduate student who is leading um, the undergrads, um, you want your students to be prepared too. Um, I always talk about, I remember my first experience at the national convention, and it can be very overwhelming to anybody when you go for your first time. There is a lot to take in. There is a lot going on. Um, so what I I love that NACA does. This was in both um, the programming magazine, but it's also um, on their website. Yeah, all right, I'm leaving Lion King. Um, a little bit of what to do to prepare your delegation when you're coming. So talks a little bit about, you know, month out, three weeks out. So, well, oops, because um, now we're down here. Um, but if you haven't done these things, of course, you can still do them. Um, but what's really cool, too, is they have a sample delegate contract here. I don't know if you all use delegate contracts. Um, I have found this very useful when I'm taking students um, to have them fill out a contract with me so they understand what my expectations are um, uh, of them, the college's expectations of them, um, and so this is really cool. Also, there's a sample letter here to faculty, so if you um, help your student in reaching out to the faculty to say, you know, hey, it's legit, they really are going to a convention and they're going with me, this is a great um, tool to be able to use. Um, and then it just talks a little bit about uh, you know, the week before, make sure your rooming assignments are finalized. You know, make sure you get your travel advances. Make sure you know how you're going to pay for things. Um, make sure that you plan to be spirited while you're at the convention. You know, are you all going to wear the same shirt on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday? And, you know, everyone's going to know who you are. Um, you know, do you have an idea already, like we've talked about, the educational sessions that people want to attend or the acts that they're really interested in and think would be great on your campus? Make lists of them. Start having those conversations um, and then it talks a little bit about while well, you're here um, and then when you return to campus you know it, it doesn't just because you return to campus business doesn't have to stop um, a lot of times um, students will take it back to the rest of their committees and say hey saw an amazing awesome act what do you all think and share information with them um, so, so this is great again on the NACA website for you to be able to use so there's also ways to stay connected with us um, as, as the convention is getting closer and also during the convention itself. So if you all have not done so, I really highly suggest that you download the All Access app. Um, I have the app. I absolutely love it. Um, I think some of the, the best things about the app um, is that you can set appointments for yourself. You can set it up what you want to attend. Um, it gives you reminders of things that you said you would attend. You know, like it, it's a wonderful thing. And as we all know, we're all carrying the electronics with us that are at our fingertips that can help us with this. Also, social media, I really encourage everyone to, you know, follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, or on Instagram. Um, we, we have been kind of all over Facebook um, in regards to preparing to, of course, you're all seeing my Facebook, you're welcome. Um, but we're really trying to make sure that people are prepared um, and we're giving out the most information that we can. So this is about today, look at that. Um, this is talking about the educational sessions um, tracks that we have and who is going to be leading them, um, talking more about the convention registration. Um, so just if you haven't already been on the Facebook page for NACA, please do. We take it over for the convention as we get closer and closer. Um, and we will also be holding some really fun um, social media games, I guess is the best way of saying it. Um, contest, ooh, contest, that's a better word, um, throughout the entire convention. So please, you know, follow us, like us, whatever those other things you have to do. And then always use the hashtag NACA17, and that way we can find what you're um, putting out on social media, your students are putting out on social media, and who knows, it might be retweeted, it might be showing up on a big screen in a showcase or anything like that. So. So that is what I, I have at this point. I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now with everyone um, and what, what I have for you all. But I didn't know if I can maybe get in the Q&A or if I can get on the chat. If anyone has any questions, um, I talk fast, so I apologize if I went through that very quickly. Um, but I felt like there was just so much information I wanted to make sure that everyone had. Um, so let's see. 
Are there any questions out there? Yes, so like Chrissy said, feel free to put your questions in the Q&A or the chat. We'll look at both. Um, we'll hang out for a couple of minutes in case anyone has any questions. But while we're waiting, I just want to thank Chrissy and the rest of the planning committee for the convention. They've done an amazing job and we're very excited for Baltimore. Um, and then I don't know if anyone noticed, but in the chat, Courtney, who's the chair elect um, and will be chairing next year's convention, she has put her contact information in the chat. So if you want to reach out to her, it's there. If you remember something later that you want to ask her about, like Christy showed at the very beginning, her contact information is on that um, planning committee volunteer list page. So that's another option as well. But all right, we just had another question about the convention map. So you'll have um, a copy of that in your program that you'll get when you get there. And then I. Chrissy, I think it's also on the website. It is. Um, it, it is all on the website. Um, it'll be in your program book. It'll also be on the app. So you'll be able to, to see everything. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if it's on the website. I just got really blurry again. Um, but I will double check that. And if it's not, I'll make sure it gets up there so that you all can see that. Yes, yeah, so it'll definitely be in your program guide um, in the app. And then you just Google the Baltimore Convention Center. It's up there as well. And like she said, we'll be on the first floor, the third floor, and the fourth floor. Yeah. And again, go furthest away from the Hilton. But it, it's, you, you'll understand when you get there, but um, it, we're on the further side away from the Hilton. Yes, and then we got another question about discounts for light rail tickets. Chrissy, do you know about that? I do not know about that. Um, but I think that's a great suggestion and something that we could potentially talk to the Baltimore um, Visitor Center about. Um, so I will go ahead and write that down for us to look into. Um, so um, when you get on site, I will tell you, why don't you ask at the volunteer booth um, about that um, if we're not able to provide that information prior on social media. Yes, and then as you know, Chrissy's gone back and forth multiple times to our um, website page about convention and then the social media pages. So if you have any questions, you can always check there first. Anything else, just let us know. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't look like we're getting any more questions. Oh, Courtney, thank you. So Courtney just posted um, that students can get a discounted ID, uh, a card to ride the light rail, so you can always click on that link to learn um, a little bit more about that, but we'll also see, I don't know if the show your badge um, has anything to do with light rail either, but we can look into that. Yes. Um, and then yes, so someone asked about the PowerPoint and it getting shared. So we've recorded this webinar um, and then the chat feed as well. And so that'll get, all this will get posted, the recording, the chat feed, and the PowerPoint and Encore, our digital library. And then I'll also, once we get it, the video converted to YouTube in the next couple of days, I'll send this out to everyone who registered. So yes, um, long answer short, yes, you will get access to the PowerPoint and the recording. We'll hang out for just another minute, just in case anyone has another question. It looks like people are checking out what Courtney posted. Looking like it's really just for K through 12 students to get the discount. Yeah. Hmm. We'll definitely ask the question. Yeah, great question. Definitely look into it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, we'll, we're so excited to see you all in Baltimore. Can't believe it's next week. We're very Aww. excited. <laughs> um, and I think we'll just call out a wrap for today. Thanks, everyone, for joining us, and see you next week. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone. And say hi when I see you on site. <laughs>